Okay, so first off, I want to say thank you to all you guys for joining me today in the call. Um, I really appreciate all of you guys' hard work the past four years. It, it can be rare to find a team that, like you guys, who is as positive as you are. I really am appreciative of all of you guys, um, truly. Um, what a blessing the past four years have been. Um, I was able to earn my degree and um, meet so many uh, great people along the way, people who uh, pushed me to be great. Um, I want to start off by thanking my coaches. Uh, Coach Houston, um, try not to get emotional about it, but um, without him, I wouldn't have learned how to uh, push through adversity. I wouldn't have been able to learn how to um, keep my head held high during uh, rough times and uh, just stay positive no matter the circumstances. And everything that he's doing for the program, I, I can't wait to watch. Um, and um, I'll always be a pirate no matter what. And I wanna, um, I'm forever in his debt, truly. And I want to thank uh, Coach Dudzik, um, Coach Big John, and uh, Coach Bowles for everything that they've done. Um, they've really truly developed me as a, as a man on and off the field. Um, I could sit here all day and talk about my family. Um, we would be here all day, though, if I went through every single one of them. Um, they, they've been everything. Um, my father has been my biggest mentor, biggest fan, biggest coach for me. Um, my mom is the most supportive woman, and I couldn't have asked for a better mother. And my brother and sister are, um, like I said, I can't begin to talk about them. Um, just very, very loving and supportive. Um, and I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity and the, the ability to play at this level, um, to play at ECU. Um, it's been wonderful, and I'll always, I'll always remember this time here. And um, I want to thank my teammates, my brothers. Sorry, that's definitely been the hardest part for me. <clears throat> Was leaving like such a family atmosphere um, definitely has been the hardest. <clears throat> but I want to take the time to uh, announce that I'll be declaring for the draft. And um, um, I know there's a lot of hard work in front of me, but I'm very thankful for this opportunity. I'm excited to work my tail off for uh, Pirate Nation. And um, um, yeah, so now I'm open for questions. Blake, when you and your family started to talk about this uh, process, how far back did that start? And um, kind of what were those conversations like? Um, I think it started probably at beginning to mid season. Um, I realized that I was getting my degree and that. I had a little bit more wiggle room to make a decision. Um, so I just constant talks with my family um, and just, you know, prayers up to God. And um, I really believe that he placed this on my heart. I wasn't expecting to do this last year or anything like that. It's just that I was able to get my degree and I was able to have those serious talks with my family and they guided me to make this decision. What was kind of going on that? Just what was your degree in it? It sounds like that is a big piece of it. I mean, getting kind of finalized with that maybe made the decision easier at, at all. Definitely. That was the main goal for sure. Of, um, obviously coming to college was getting my degree and make sure that I'm set. Um, I got a degree in communications and um, interpersonal communication with a minor of business management. Blake, what has your dad told you about what to expect in the NFL, a guy that was in the NFL for quite a long time? Um, just to understand that it's a business. You know, um, it's going to take a lot of hard work, but, um, you know, with his guidance, um, I trust him, obviously, with everything and um, just trusting God's plan for me and knowing that um, as long as I just be myself, I have a great shot. And that's all I can ask for is an opportunity. And one other follow up question to that, to be able to follow dad and brother into the NFL. What does that mean? You talked about family with East Carolina. Obviously, that's something that's very important to you. Um, yeah, it's definitely to follow in that legacy of the last name is truly a blessing. Um, God's, all, God's blessed us with all the talent. Um, for me personally, I, I look at it like a competition. I know my brother and my dad um, have made it, but I'm, I'm ready myself. And every day is a, a, a way to compete for me. 
So we laugh about it all the time, but for me, it's just competition like everything is. Like when you look at this program, from the, from the day you, you stepped in here to now what you're leaving now, how far has it come? Oh, it's I try to I was trying to just tell everybody that I've talked to about how different and how far this program come and where it's going because I mean you guys saw the last game, what we're capable of is scary. I mean that's a top twenty five team. If they don't lose to Tulsa, they're probably still in the top twenty five, and that just shows what we did to Tulsa and what we can do in this conference. Um, I'm very excited to watch. Um, Everything that Coach Houston is doing is building on and off the field. Just focusing on the little things, I think, is something that um, when I was a freshman and a sophomore that I never – that we were missing was just focusing on the little things and growing as men and creating that family atmosphere is something that we didn't have. And it's something that Coach Houston instilled in us from day one. Kind of building off that, when you look at that photo you took as a team after the SMU game, uh, what does that mean to you and what does it represent? just family, just brotherhood, um, just a love for one another. The fact that we would do anything for each other, no matter what, on or off the field, it's lifelike, it's lifelong uh, bonds that we've created. That picture is just, just, um, just portrays how, how much we love each other, um, no matter what, no matter what the circumstance is. And what's next for you? I'm sure maybe your dad has been involved or sets things up. But do you have workouts or, you know, have you been able to kind of contact any NFL or get any insight at all? I mean, what's kind of your plan to get ready for, for what's next? Um, for sure. So, um, well, I do have to pick an agent, so I'll be talking to a few of them. Um, I have a, had a couple reach out where I just need to, you know, um, understand um, who they are and what they stand for and pick the right one for me and my um, – my situation and also just working with um, coaches and stuff like that and understanding what I need to work on um, that will help me at the next level and um, get some background information to scouts and just little things like that. What are some of the biggest things you feel like uh, individually you want to work on and give yourself the best possible shot going into the NFL? Um, I would say definitely – um, physicality and size, um, that's something I'm going to focus on in this offseason and getting ready um, for what's to come is definitely size and strength. I'm going to spend a lot of hours in the weight room developing my body. Um, but the good thing is that I'm, I'm a late bloomer, so every year I'm getting bigger and stronger, more confident in myself. So I would say the biggest thing would definitely be size and strength. Blake, is there one memory – on the field of play that you'll remember from East Carolina forever? Is there one that sticks out, maybe one play, maybe one moment at East Carolina on the field that sticks out in your mind? Um, I would say, obviously, it was in the recent past would be our trick play with me and Tyler. You know, Tyler's my roommate and lifelong friend. Um, me and him are very close. I love him like a brother. Um, and we, we always gave our coach, you know, Coach K hard time every practice. You know, when, when are you going to call, uh, when are you going to call this play? We would, we would always work on it after practice and hopefully they would see that we would execute it every time we ran it in practice. And I think just that play alone just speaks of volumes. Um, I knew it was going to work. It always works. And we were just excited. We were going to find a way no matter what. And I remember when I got in the end zone, I was looking for him, like, primarily, but he was getting tackled all the way down the field. So I had to pass up a lot of my teammates because I was looking for him. So I had to run all the way down the sideline and go chest bump him, and that's something that I'll never forget for sure. That's probably one of the most memorable um, plays along with a lot of other ones. Okay, are there any other questions for Blake? Okay, Blake, thank you very much for your time. Thank you guys again. Right. Good luck. Thank you.